Hi everybody, it is Allie and I am writing a novel. If you guys follow me on Twitter or have seen some of my other videos, you probably already know that I am writing a young adult fantasy novel. I have been working on it since before I started this YouTube channel. It's kind of a long standing work in progress. And if you have seen my work in progress tag video, I go into a little bit of detail about what the story is about. And if you have seen my blog post that I made based off of that work in progress tag, you know a whole bunch more. So I will leave both of, the link both of those linked below. These videos are not going to be for me to spoil my entire story for you. <laughs> the whole purpose of these videos is more for me to document my writing experience for you to hopefully share your writing experiences with me, we can commiserate on how <laughs> difficult it is to meet deadlines and all of that fun stuff. So that's what I'm going to talk about for the most part today. Because I am so new and fresh into the drafting process with this particular book, I haven't decided yet how I want to set goals for myself, whether or not I want to do a chapter goal or a word count goal or a quarterly goal. I'm not really sure yet. I'm open to suggestions. So if any of you guys have found a way that works really well for you, please leave it in the comments. Send me a message on Twitter, anything. Just let me know. I am 100% open to ideas in terms of setting goals for myself. I definitely need some kind of deadline and yet I have not decided what kind of deadline I'm going to make for myself yet. Thing is, until very recently, I was firmly in the planning and outlining stage. Like I said before, this is a young adult fantasy novel, and not only is it just a fantasy which already requires world building, but it is a fantasy novel where politics and religion and geography even play a pretty big part in the plot. So. I needed to spend a lot of time, and did spend a lot of time, on coming up with the different aspects of the world and how they altered the society of my characters, altered the places that they're living in, and then I needed to also spend time planning out how my character, my main character, and the other members of the cast would fit into that world and how they would directly change and alter that world in the course of the story. I am drafting the first quarter of the book because I have just exhausted all possible outlining strategies for that first quarter and yet at the same time I'm still doing more extensive planning for the middle and last quarter of my book. I have used, if you saw on Twitter, I made a mention that I had used five different planning strategies and some of you might have thought that I was exaggerating, but I actually went and counted them off on my fingers of how many different planning strategies I've used and I have used seven. Seven planning strategies and I'm not even done yet. So I am clearly uh, finding finding the best one for me. None of them so far have been perfect, but also none of them have been utterly pointless. So I've used a lot. Planning is tricky because it is much more than just a beginning, middle, and end kind of situation. I have had the main plot of my book figured out for about two months. I have been working on this book, like I said, for a year, but a new character popped up that pretty much entirely changed the plot of the first book, at least. And so I had a lot of changes to make. And when I say basic plot, I mean the first plot point, the pinch points, the midpoint, the second plot point, the climax. I had all of that stuff planned out, but it was very vague notions of like, <laughs> people fight people, this thing happens. Like It's not um, something that I planned in very defined details. Also, even in those, you know, three act structures, the middle can be a very difficult thing to plan out and make sure that it doesn't drag. And so I used different planning methods to, to get those elements of the middle 
more upbeat and keep readers interested, at least in my planning, that is how it goes. <laughs> and so the way that I'm working with it right now is that I had the basic structure and then I went in and plotted the first quarter extensively as in like scene by scene planning and then I am starting writing on that first quarter while I continue to extensively plan the scene by scene elements of the middle and the climax and the third act just kind of in general. And with all of that said, my first draft still only has um, 1,702 words as of today, which is September 18th of 2018. So we'll see. My original plan, some people might remember, was to have the first draft of my book finished by the start of next year, but I don't know that that's gonna happen. So I have to um, kind of readjust because, like I said before, my planning period went on a little bit longer than I thought it would. At the time, I really only had the basic plot and about half of the opening quarter really figured out. And now that I have much more figured out, I feel much more ready to move forward. And yet at the same time, that time is now lost to me. So I have almost the entire first chapter done of my first draft. Now I've rewritten that chapter three times because I'm really bad at just letting the words go and moving on. I always go back and reread and kind of self-edit myself, but that's where I'm at right now. It's not very far, I know, but it is <laughs> it is 1700 words that is the result of a year of planning and I already feel more proud of it because I know exactly who this character is, I know exactly where they're going, I know exactly what's happening around them, even the things that they don't know, and it just makes it a lot more exciting to me that I took the time to plan all of that stuff ahead of time and I'm really excited to keep working and really excited to get even further into these characters because after spending a year planning things out purely in a storytelling mindset of what is the technical best way to keep this going forward, to keep readers engaged, to p keep people wanting to read, and then I get to actually sink into the characters and sink into the story and really get into their mindset in a way that you can't really do when you're just looking at them as characters moving around on a chessboard and it's so exciting and it makes the story feel much more rich to me. I hope it makes the story feel much more rich to you when and if you finally are able to read it. And that is it for me for this video, but thank you guys so much for watching. It is amazing to me that you guys are interested in hearing about what I'm writing about. It means the world to me. Thank you all so much for your support. I love each and every one of you so dearly and I will see you in the next video.